Hi there and welcome to Info World. Today the topic of our discussion is missiles. Let's get started. The Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, or ICBMs, are designed for delivering nuclear weapons. These deadly missiles have a minimum range of 5 500 kilometers. Modern ICBMs typically carry more than one nuclear warhead. The ICBMs can be silo-based, road mobile, rail-based and submarine-based. Mobile ICBMs are typically more difficult to detect and to destroy prior to their launch. Key key factors of this top 10 list are range and payload of the missile, number and yield of MIRVs, accuracy, type of basing, and various technologies that allow to overcome enemy air defense systems. Top of the list is Trident D-5. The Trident D-5, or Trident II, is a submarine-launched ballistic missile. It is an improved version of the previous Trident C-4 with greater payload, range and accuracy. It was first deployed in 1990. These missiles are deployed by the United States and the United Kingdom. Here is a video of the Trident test demonstration. The Trident II missile has a range of 7,800 kilometers with full load and 12 kilometers with reduced load. Each U.S. Trident II missiles can carry up to 14 warheads with a 475 kT yield each. The Trident II is a very accurate missile. It has a SEP of around 90 meters. It is guided on the target by Astro Inertial Navigation System, but can also receive GPS updates. Next on is R-36M2 Voyevoda. The Soviet R-36 was first tested in 1971. Eventually it evolved into an R-36M family, known in the West as SS-18 or Satan. The R-36M2 missile has a range of 11 kilometers and carry up to 10 MIRVs with a blast yield of 0.75 minus 1 mount and up to 40 penetration aids, so its nuclear warheads will be difficult to intercept for air defense systems. The Satan is a silo-based missile. Silos are located in dispersed locations across Russia. In 2022 a new Russian RS-28 Sarmat ICBM entered service. It will completely replace the R-36 series missiles. Up next is Russian RS-24 Yars. The Russian RS-24 Yars is a new intercontinental ballistic missile. It is known in the West as SS-29. It is an improved version of the previous RS-12M Topol M. It was developed both as a road mobile and silo-based system. This solid fuel missile is similar to that of the Topol M. The Yars has a range of 12 kilometers. The main difference from the previous missile is that Yars is MIRV equipped and can carry at least six independently targetable warheads with 100-300 kT yield. In 2019 an Avangard hypersonic gliding re-entry vehicle was declared operational. It is mounted on top of the missile, but unlike a regular re-entry vehicle it can make sharp maneuvers. It is estimated that it has at least 6 to minus 65% chance to penetrate defenses. The road mobile Yars uses the same highly mobile 16 by 16 wheeled chassis. The mobile launcher has 500 km autonomy on roads. Once on high alert, the Yars TELs can leave their bases and operates in remote forest areas to increase their survivability. Road mobile ICBMs are harder to detect and hit. These have a high probability of surviving the first strike once the country has been attacked. A silo-based version of the Yars is compatible with silo of older Russian ICBMs that were phased out of service. Coming up next is, the Minuteman 3 is a silo-based missile. There are 450 of these missiles in the U.S. service. Another 50 to 75 missiles are in reserve. The Minuteman 3 missile has a maximum range of 13 kilometers. The original inertial navigation system provided it with an accuracy of about 200 meters SEP, but an updated inertial guidance system gives it 120 meters SEP. The Minuteman 3 carries a payload of three independently targetable re-entry vehicles. Each one of this MIRVs is armed with nuclear warhead with a destructive power between 300 to 500 kT. It also carries penetration aids to counter enemy missile defense systems. There are silos to fire the Minuteman 3 missile all around the United States, like in Montana, North Dakota, Wyoming and other U.S. Air Force bases. On the fifth number is R the R-29 RMU-2. One laner is a recent Russian submarine-launched ballistic missile has a maximum range of 8 300 km with full load and 12 km with reduced load. Each missile can carry 12 low-yield warheads. This missile is equipped with improved systems to overcome anti-ballistic missile shields. 
it carries decoys, as of 2016 a total of six Delta IV-class submarines, equipped with ballistic missiles, are in service with the Russian Navy. Submarine basing of the ICBMs allow to survive the first strike. However, the Russian Delta IV submarines are not as stealthy as the U.S. or British ballistic missiles. Still though, these have a higher chances of surviving than silo-based systems. Furthermore, these missiles have sufficient range to be fired straight from the pier. Next comes the M51. The M51 is a French submarine-launched ballistic missile. These missiles are carried by French Le Triomphant-class submarines. France operates four of these submarines. The M51 has a range of 10 km with reduced payload and 8 km with full payload. Each missile carries 6 minus 10 independently targetable warheads. Each has a blast yield of 107 kT. Furthermore, missile carries penetration aids in order to overcome hostile air defenses. Newer version of this missile, the M51-2, carries more powerful 150 kT warheads. These French ICBMs have astro-inertial guidance. Galileo Satellite Navigation System is planned so. SEP of this missile is around 150 minus 200 meters. Up next, DF-41 is the most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile developed in China. It is based on an 8-axle launcher vehicle. The DF-41 is a solid-fuel missile. It has an estimated range of 12 kilometers and carries up to 10 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. <laughs> this missile is extremely devastating and can wipe out entire countries. This missile has internal navigation system with indigenous Chinese Beidou satellite navigation system update. It could be accurate to 150 meters. He DF-41 is based on Tan HTF-5980 special wheeled chassis with 16x16 16 16 configuration. This vehicle has some degree of cross-country mobility and can travel over various terrain. China has quickly became the second country after Belarus, capable of designing and producing launch vehicles for ultra-heavy intercontinental missiles. Coming up is DF-31AG. It's a China's-made ICBM. It is based on an 8-axle launcher vehicle and is very mobile. The DF-31AG is a solid-fuel missile. This missile has a range of 11 200 kilometers. It can carry multiple independently targetable warheads. There is a version of the DF-31 that carries three MIRVs with 20, 90, or 150 kT blast yield capacity each. Missile has internal navigation system with indigenous Chinese Beidou satellite navigation system. This missile carries decoys in order to overcome missile defense systems. Transporter Erector Launcher Vehicle is based on 8-axle TAN special wheeled chassis. Vehicle has autonomy on roads of around 500 kilometers. Coming up next is JL-3. The JL-3 is a new Chinese submarine-launched ballistic missile. It is estimated that the new JL-3 missile has a range of 9-0 to 12 kilometers. It carries a single 250-10 KT warhead, or several MIRVs. Each Jin-class submarine carries 12 of these missiles. This missile Astro Inertial Navigation System with Indigenous Chinese Beidou Satellite Navigation System update. It is estimated that this missile has a SEP of less than 100 meter. Last but not least is Bulava. The Bulava is a new Russian submarine-launched intercontinental ballistic missile. It is carried by the new Russian Bore class submarines. It has a declared range of 9,500 kilometers. This missile can carry six MIRVs with a yield of 150 kT each. It can also carry 10 MIRVs, though to a range of only 4 kilometers. The Bulava has an astro inertial guidance with Russian GLANA satellite navigation system update. It has a SEP of 350 meters. Each Bore class submarine can carry 16 missiles. As of 2017, there are three of these submarines in service with the Russian Navy. The Bulava missile has potential to be road mobile or rail based. That's all.